Blue Folder Introduction Blue Folder helps businesses boost efficiency, increase customer satisfaction, and streamline business processes. Work orders and assignments allow you to track your service business real-time without the need of lengthy and time-consuming paper trails. Managing your customers all in one location saves time and reduces the need for unnecessary internal communication and confusion. Billing and costing helps you keep your eyes on important business metrics, helping you to catch costly mistakes before they happen. Leverage scheduling to help your office staff know the who, the when, and the where of your customers' work orders real-time and anytime. Email and text messages keep your team in the know and reduces internal questions. Include your customers in your team and they too can receive immediate updates by email and the customer portal. With Blue Folder, recurring service is effortless and cannot be lost and forgotten. Once jobs are entered, rest easy that they'll be created, assigned, completed, and you can invoice for them. Track your customer's assets to include past and future service to help keep your customer up and running and happy. Customize your account to mirror your business processes to help with user adoption and ease of use. Dashboards. Dashboards help you and your staff manage and track your service business. There are three main dashboards within Blue Folder. The Personal Dashboard, the Service Dashboard, and the Billing Dashboard. The Mobile Edition also has a dashboard view that's been optimized for users using the Mobile Edition. From a user's personal dashboard, staff will have instant access to important announcements, their schedule, work orders, their mini calendar, and a quick search tool. By clicking on announcements, your staff can get more detail on important messages that you want them to know about. The schedule will display to you and your users what they have going on for the day. Users can toggle between a one-day view or a two-day view so that there's no surprises. If desired, Users can print their schedule to include maps, stick it in their clipboard, and out for the day. Users can take action right from their dashboard. They can click into Customers for more customer information. They can click into Work Orders to get more detailed work order information. And they complete assignments right from the schedule. By looking at Open Work Orders, users can filter exactly what they want to see. For example, we're looking at all work orders assigned to this user that are not complete for today. Blue Folder also allows users to look at anything that might have been scheduled for today or in the past and let me take action on anything that I might have forgotten to do. The search utility allows users to look for customers and work orders that they have access to depending on their permissions and roles. The mini calendar gives users access to their calendar. They can see what's going on for the day, as well as create new appointments and new scheduled work for a certain date and time. The service dashboard shows your team who has access, based on permissions and roles, the health of your service work. Users can become more proactive than reactive when seeing items that are past due, such as equipment and contract. They can also see important items that, that are happening today, such as how many work orders are scheduled for today, and how many are incoming from, let's say, email. Being again proactive, we can see what's coming up, what's going on tomorrow, and what's coming up in the next 30 days, such as equipment and contracts expiring. Under the recent activity, users can see how many work orders are created today, how many work orders are closed today, as well as the last 30 interactions from your users with the system. Admin users can also create new announcements for the team and search and find work orders and customers. Service billing reports on the service billing by month. This helps users keep their eyes on what's important. Is our service billing going up and to the right or are we seeing some anomalies that we need to jump in and find out before it becomes a problem? Open work orders by status lets everyone in the company know exactly what's going on at any time, real time, with all the work orders for your business. 
keep in mind that within the dashboard, all the links are live links and can take a user to exactly the data they're looking for. The billing dashboard gives owners, admins, and bookkeepers access to everything that's ready to be billed, any recent billing batches, the number of closed work orders by month, and the service billing by month. Much like the service dashboard, all the links are live and users can drill down for more information. The billing dashboard is also where your bookkeeper, an owner, or maybe a dispatcher will move closed work orders to your accounting system by creating billing batches. Customers. When your customers are entered into your Bluefolder account, instantly everyone in your organization will have access to your customers and important customer information. Permissions depending, of course. Your customers can interact with you and your team by sending emails to your Blue Folder email address, responding to email notifications, and or logging into your customer portal. By hovering over your customer tab, you can create new customers, access the customer list, access the contact list, and import customer records. The customer list will display your customers in alphabetical order by default. You can use the quick jump keys to locate customers by the first letter of the customer name or the search tool to find customers. By clicking on a customer's name, you'll be taken to the customer's overview. The customer's overview is similar to the dashboard and shows you the most recent and pertinent information for this customer, such as the most recent work orders and comments, active contracts and billing information, and customer specific notification preferences. If your customer has multiple contacts, you can list them under contacts. Under locations, you can track your customer's locations if they have more than one. A running list of comments can be managed under the comments tab to help everyone in your organization better understand all the interactions with this customer that is not related to work orders. The Customer Equipment tab lists all equipment that you manage and service for this customer. To get detailed service history or specific equipment information, simply click on the equipment item. Under Contracts, you will find a list of all contracts for this customer. This list can be filtered and grouped to better help you manage the contracts you have with this customer. If you perform recurring work orders for your customers, you'll want to create recurring work orders. To see a list of current recurring work orders or to create a new recurring work order, go to the Recurring tab. Attachments are uploaded files, pictures, manuals, anything really that will help your team better manage and service your customer. You can also add links to files that are hosted outside of Blue Folder. The History tab houses all of the service history for this customer. The list of work orders can be filtered and searched to help you find work orders and answer questions quickly. The Reports tab exposes reports that you can run to better help you answer questions of your team, your customer, and for your customer. Work Orders Managing work orders in Blue Folder is easy and powerful. At a glance, you and your entire team will know what work you have and exactly what stage the work is in. A work order, once created in Blue Folder, cannot be lost or forgotten. Therefore, you'll always have an accurate view of your service business, past, present, and future, real time. When hovering over the work order list, you'll have access to create new work orders, go to the work order list, search comments and notes, and access your recycling bin. You'll also have the ability to create new recurring work orders and go to the recurring work order list. By clicking on the work order list, you have access to all the work orders for your customers. The list can be filtered by work orders assigned to me or by all work orders. Access to all work orders can be limited by user role and permissions. Work orders can then be filtered by status and the time frame they're assigned for. To further filter the list, you can enter values in the search tool and search by specific criteria. When the work order in question is located, simply click on the number or the description and you'll be taken to the work order overview tab. The overview, much like a dashboard, will show you the most recent and pertinent information about this work order. On the top of the work order, the number, the description, and the customer is displayed. 
On the right, the current status will be displayed in addition to all the scheduled and unscheduled assignments. All users who are related to this work order will also be listed. The main body of the service request will house the customer, the service location, and contact information to help your staff know exactly who to help, when, and how to contact them if necessary. The detailed description will allow you to further define what's happening and how to better help this customer. If the work order has to do with equipment or assets, the item will be linked to the work order under Equipment to Service. Additional information such as created and closed date will be exposed, as well as any custom work order fields you've added. The last three log entries are shown, and you can take direct action by clicking to add a comment. A quick link is provided to take you to the full history of this work order if needed. Last, the three items most recently added to this work order will be exposed. For a more detailed view of specifically the labor, materials, and expense items, you can simply click on the Items tab. Here, all the items pertaining to this work order will be listed. If items need to be added, deleted, or edited, you can do so right here. The Billing tab provides essential information to the billing information, such as if the work order is billable or not, who the work order is billable to, if there's a contract associated with this work order, the billing status, invoice date, and invoice number if integrating with a supported accounting system. The billing summary will show the labor, materials, and expenses for this work order to include price and tax. Under the totals, the costing matrix helps to easily break down costs, margin, and profitability. The Attachments tab will house all the uploaded pictures, documents, and signed documents related to this work order. In this case, there's a before and after picture, a signed billing summary, and a signed entry form. A quick click on the picture, and we'll see the new unit that was installed in this case. Here's the before picture. And here's the signed billing summary that the client signed off on before a technician left the site. Under the Log tab, the entire history of who, when, and what is listed in chronological order. Like the Overview tab, direct action can be taken on any log entry by adding a comment. Depending on permissions, users, and notification preferences for customers, log entries will be emailed and or texted to users. Standard users in Blue Folder can reply to emails sent from the work order and they'll be added to the log. Customers can also respond to notifications. Those responses will come back to Blue Folder to the work order in the log as well. To take action on any of those interactions, simply click Add a Comment, choose if it's public or private, private for internal communications, public for external, and click Submit. Scheduling. Accomplish more work with less downtime with the calendar views in Blue Folder. Scheduling helps you accurately set up your team's days, weeks, months, and even years if necessary. Knowing who's helping who when will build confidence when setting expectations with both your team and your customers. There are multiple areas within Blue Folder that will help you and your staff know who they're helping when. If leveraging customer notifications and or the customer portal, your customers will also have visibility of when to expect your team's help. The main areas within Blue Folder that will help you, your team, and your customers with scheduling are the Personal Dashboard, the Work Orders tab, the Calendar tab, the Customer Portal, and the Mobile Edition. From the Personal Dashboard, you and your team can access your schedule for either one or two days. These appointments and scheduled work orders can be printed simply by clicking the link. You and your team will also have access to your open work orders that can be filtered by today, tomorrow, or maybe today and older. Each user has access to their calendar through the mini calendar. By clicking on the mini calendar, you'll be taken to the calendar tab. The calendar tab will allow you to choose your view, day, week, week agenda, and or month. From these views, depending on permissions, users can create new appointments and new work orders by simply clicking on the date of the event. The work order tab, depending on permissions, will show either all work orders or just my work orders. 
Here, again, similar to the personal dashboard, work orders can be filtered by today, today only, or today or older. As an admin, dispatcher, scheduler, you can filter down to the actual user who's assigned for, let's say, all jobs today. This is a great way to stay on top of your team and make sure your team is staying on top of their work. The calendar tab displays all scheduled assignments and appointments. The calendar can be viewed by day, week, month, and availability. To further help your staff zero in on who can help when, the calendar can be filtered by group as well as toggled between an individual view and a team view. To create new events such as appointments and scheduled assignments, simply click on the date and the day and create a new scheduled work order or an appointment. When looking at the team view, simply click on the day, enter the duration, the subject, and the customer to create new scheduled work orders and assignments. To take action on scheduled assignments and appointments, simply click on the appointment. From there, you can access the work order by clicking on the work order number. You can access the customer by clicking on the customer. You can also edit, reschedule, and print. If you'd like to print team schedules, simply click on Print Schedules, select your individuals, or select a group. Next, select your options, and print your team schedule for the day. Users can also set the calendar as their default view. Once a user decides which is their preferred view, they simply just set the default. Customers also have access through the customer portal to scheduled assignment information. By logging into the portal, your customer simply just clicks on the work order in question and can access the assignment data such as which technician is coming to help, what day are they coming to help, and what time. Users can access scheduling information in the field using a laptop or a mobile device. Once they log in, they'll land on their dashboard. The dashboard will show them their schedule for that day. Users can get more information about what they're doing by clicking on the calendar. The calendar will display the current day. The calendar can also be toggled by week. To access scheduled assignment and appointment information, all a user needs to do is click on the work order to view their assignment. To create new events, simply click on New and choose a new scheduled work order or an appointment. For New Appointment, click on the Appointment and enter the event details. For New Scheduled Work Order, simply click on the work order, enter the description, choose a customer, and save and assign. Next, the user will want to put in the date and the duration of the appointment, as well as any comments that helps the customer, as well as our staff, know what's going on. Tracking your customer's equipment helps you, your team, and your customer reduce failures, increase uptime, to help keep equipment up and running. What happens today when a customer calls your organization to open a work order for a piece of equipment? Does your staff have to quiz the customer to identify specific details on the asset such as make, model number, serial number, or location? Or does your staff confidently recite the assets that you service on behalf of this customer and ask which asset is giving them the issue? There are different views within Blue Folder that help you, your team, and your customer access information. From the service dashboard, owners, operators, and managers will have access to any equipment items that are past due for service or items that are due for service in the next month. By clicking on the item, you'll be taken to a list to see all items that are past due for service. Visibility of equipment items that are coming up for service gives you the ability to book service work for when times might be slow. 
you and your team can access equipment items from the Equipment tab and from a customer's profile. When clicking on the Equipment tab under a customer's profile, you'll be looking at just the equipment for this customer. For more information on equipment, simply click on the equipment item to see important information such as make, model number, location, serial number, the next service date, and all work orders created that have been linked to this item. Your staff will have access to important equipment data at their fingertips. Whether it's a printed work order, or by simply viewing the work order in blue folder. Staff can drill down to get the same information on the equipment to include service history that managers and operators can get. Staff will also have a view of equipment through the mobile edition. With just a couple clicks, your staff can see what the affected item is, important information, and can drill down for more detailed view of the equipment. If desired, you can also give your customers access to their equipment data. Once they log into the customer portal, they'll have access to work orders and the equipment linked to those work orders, as well as the equipment tab. The customer can drill into an equipment item, see important information, as well as any work orders that this equipment's been linked to. Contracts are agreements between you and your customers. Be it a block of hours that have been pre-sold, warranties provided at time of sale of equipment, or maintenance agreements. Contracts track, manage, and justify the contracted service work you perform for your customers. Contracts will also help you and your team keep on top of who's on contract, who isn't, which contracts are expiring and when, and which contracts have expired creating renewal opportunities. The service dashboard will display contracts that have expired and contracts that are about to expire. By clicking on the link, you'll be taken to the Contracts tab that will be pre-filtered, depending on which link was clicked. The Contracts tab will display all contracts for all customers. The contracts can be filtered by expiration date. You will also find contracts underneath individual customer records. By navigating to the customer record and clicking on the Contracts tab, all contracts for this specific customer will be listed. When clicking on a contract, you'll be taken to the Contract Overview. Here is where the detail of the contract lives. The contract will house the general information, the contract limit, additional information such as contract number and the type of contract, and the description and terms of the contract. Files can be uploaded such as an original signed agreement or proposal to the Attachments tab. And the Contracts Usage tab will display the hours that have been applied to this contract to date. The contract can be printed in a summary view as well as the usage When opening new work orders, you and your staff will decide if work orders should be applied to a contract. If a work order is linked to a contract, then by default, all labor will automatically be billed to this contract. You can also grant access to your customers to view their contract information. When they log into the customer portal, they have access to the Contracts tab. By drilling down onto an agreement, they can see the terms and description of the contract, and the attachments uploaded, and the contract usage with links to the work orders and the labor that was applied to this agreement.
Billing and costing allows you to keep your eyes on critical metrics for your service billing. No real time anytime the health of your service business. Billing data is found in a few areas within Blue Folder. On a global level, the billing dashboard displays information for all customers' work orders. The billing dashboard displays all of the work orders that are ready to be batched and billed. The recent batches list past batches and all the work orders within those batches. The service billing and closed work order by month graphs show you real-time detailed information so if adjustments are needed you can take action quickly. Billing and costing information is also available at the individual work order level. By navigating to the billing tab we can see the items that are applied to this work order as well as the profitability. This allows you to evaluate profitability work order to work order and again take action if something isn't right. To find out more information on the billing for specific customers, go to the customer record and click on the reports tab and you'll have access to sales and profitability reports. You can also report on global billing information by selecting the Reports tab and choosing from the Sales and Profitability Reports or the Billing Reports. You can also create custom reports if the canned report is not detailed enough. The devil's in the details. Keeping your fingers on the pulse of your business via reports allow you to manage and grow your business by helping you identify, plan, execute, and review business activities real time. To report on global events, go to the Reports tab. Here you can use the built-in reports to evaluate data on customers, sales, and users, such as the weekly timesheet, service billing by customer, or maybe profitability by work order. All the reports can be filtered based on date open, or date closed, and a date range. Reports can also be printed and exported to Excel. If you have specific reporting needs, you can also generate custom reports. The report creation wizard steps you through five steps to a custom report. If your team needs to answer questions quickly regarding specific customers, you can simply navigate to the customer tab, locate the customer, and click on the customer reports tab. They can quickly find out maybe what open work orders do we have specifically for this customer. Depending on permissions, your team can also access reports to help them manage their workflow and customers. By logging into Blue Folder and navigating to the Reports tab, all the reports for technicians or users are specifically for that user. For example, here's a labor report for TED Technician. In addition, in a separate report, TED can see all his open work orders. The user reports, similar to the other reports, can be exported and printed. Last but not least, as users find useful reports, they can simply save the reports to their favorites so they have quick and easy access to the reports from the main tabs within Blue Folder. Every business has unique people, processes, and procedures. Settings and customization allow you to fine-tune Blue Folder to better align with your management preferences. The Settings tab within Blue Folder will give you access to your account settings. Users can access their settings by simply clicking on the My Settings button. Underneath General Settings, you'll be able to customize items such as work orders, customers, and the appearance of your account. The account button will give you access to high-level account settings such as your account URL, your company profile, and your payment method. 
To add and manage users, simply click on the Manage Users button. Here you'll define users, user groups, user permissions, and user roles. You can find the mobile settings by simply clicking on the mobile button. This will give you access to your mobile URL and identify who can log in. Blue Folder has powerful email settings. By clicking on the email button, you'll have access to your email address, your incoming email settings, your global notifications, and customer notifications. The customer portal will give you access to your portal, the appearance of your portal, the customers you've allowed to use your portal, and a quick tip on integrating with your website. The item list will allow you to add, upload, and filter all of your items. Once your data is in Blue Folder, you can also export that data at any time you'd like. Importing is made easy to allow you to import customers, equipment, and items. Last but not least, Blue Folder has powerful integration options. Blue Folder has an open API, and you can create callbacks to trigger other systems to integrate with Blue Folder. For questions and help, please feel free to contact Blue Folder or visit us at www.bluefolder.com.